All right, well, let's see how the temperatures are warming up this week. This is unseasonably warm. You betcha. Uh, I think we're going to be talking about a 60 degree reading by the time we get to Thursday. Thursday's going to be our warmest day, but it, it's mild enough outside as of right now. Temperature comes in at 49, and there's no weather problems out there. High temperature was 53 degrees in the city. The hot spot on the map would have been Bridgeport, Connecticut, and Somerville, New Jersey, both coming in at 54. Everybody with a temperature very similar to what you saw yesterday, and that 53 for Central Park, 8 degrees above the average. 39 is your overnight low tonight, a few clouds overhead. You can still check out some of those meteors out there tonight. Last night was pretty good. From 2 to about 2.45, I was outside, and I saw about 30. Uh, it was pretty good, and, and uh, my, my little cousin, Silas, wanted to know, how come they're always at night? Well, because that's when you see him, so it's dark out there. Uh, so he couldn't wait up for it. But again, it will be out there late tonight. Not as great as it was last night, but they're still taking uh, they're still taking a flight through our atmosphere. 39, all right, that low temperature in the city. But we talked about how it's colder in the suburbs. 26 Poughkeepsie, 26 Monticello, 29 Woodbury. So some of you are going to be sub-freezing out there. 54 is your high temperature, a few more clouds, and there's a late shower chance. It's not a lot of rain, but it's right here, currently around St. Louis. Most of that's going to go up and over the area, but I do think it's going to clip us with a little bit of a light rain chance out there later in the day tomorrow. Then it's going to be all about this warm air surging into the area for Thursday. I think you're 60 degrees in the city, maybe 61. Some places south of New York City, I think you could be getting a little further into the 60s. The wet weather that you see back here, that is going to come in on Friday. But on Friday, it's interesting. It sort of comes in in the morning, gives us a bit of rain, then backtracks, comes in later in the day, so some bookend showers for Friday. But it kind of camps out in the area for Saturday. So here's how I see everything. 54 for your day tomorrow. 60 on Thursday. Thursday is the warmest day out there. Now, look, you've got some cloud cover throughout this time period. All right, but the rain chance is very slight for Wednesday, later in the day. Uh, Thursday may be late by Friday. Again, a chance early in the day and then later in the day for some rain. A very slight chance during the daytime hours. But Saturday, it's in place, 48 degrees, cold enough north of the area for it maybe not to be just rain. Uh, not a huge accumulator, but I'll tell you right now, I think some places from Saturday into Sunday could see a trace. So maybe two inches mm -hmm. north of, of New York City. Uh, Sunday's high 43, and then Monday and Tuesday 40 uh, on the nose for those two days. I'm sorry, did you say you were up watching meteor showers? At Absolutely. You were. Absolutely. And it was great. It was I saw, amazing. I saw, I saw about, okay, you could see between 100 to 150 is what we were looking for. Yeah. I saw about 30 in 45 minutes. Wow. Uh, but it was That's pretty good. good. But kinda, it was pretty good. Kind of life And the thing is, they, they take place, place all over your sky. So I was looking in one direction. I don't know what's going on back there, but I saw 30. Wow. Very good. Awesome. Yeah. I All intended right. to, but fell asleep. No, I did not. I just got some sleep.